Hey, it's Jane Eyre on the mic, here to let you in on the story of my life. I was once a little orphan girl in a bad home. My nice Uncle Reed died and left me all alone. And Reed had three kids, John, Georgiana, and Eliza. But guess what? Yeah, they were all liars. I struck John once, called it self-defense, and we did not agree. Yeah, she took offense, sent me off to Lowood, a home for girls with no sense and not even three pence. I got out of there unscathed and lost my bad attitude, even made a friend, Helen Burns, but she died of too much gratitude. I don't even sweat it, though, cause I found my own heaven, Thornfield Hall, where I teach Adele lessons and listen to Mr. Rochester's confession. We're in love, him and I, there's truly no comparison Never felt so inadequate and strangely so equivalent I was the servant, he was the master of which he'd never let me forget But with every new day, I demanded more respect And today we shall be married, so unless anyone has a reason to object I, Margaret Hale, don't mean to cause a panic, but I have two good reasons to interfere in this marriage. One, your rhymes are quite weak, and two, well, that woman in the attic. Sorry to break it to you, Jane, I don't mean to be a hater, but your Rochester's got a wife, and he's a slaver. You should take after me and help those that are poor. We can't all sit around and fantasize about an ogre. You think you had it bad? Well, darling, I had it worse. My life was uprooted, money taken from my purse. I had to leave Helson, the self that I adored, and move to Milton, where there is soot on every floor. But I learned to love the North and its northern ways. What have you learned to do? How to run away? I love those who are true, no matter how they're bred. For John Thornton, I changed my view and took a rock to the head. I know your life was hard, but please, Jane, stop acting so righteous. Your fiancé is a fraud, so do like my father and go have a midlife crisis. I'll stop you right there, Maggie, before you embarrass yourself any further. Me, I'm a moral temple. You, you were caught after dark with the man. I don't care if he was your brother. And what was that about needing to help the poor things? Let me introduce you to my Morton School girls. I took them off the streets and turned them into proper English women. And don't even get me started on being righteous. You practically invented the book on being pompous. I ran away for the sake of my conscience. And then I came back with a fat inheritance. You are righteous. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Nuh-uh. Uh-huh. It is a truth universally acknowledged that these fools have soiled my legacy, so come watch me preach truth while these posers beg for mercy. Jane, you need to stop being so obedient and give these dimwit men a piece of your mind. And Margaret, why don't you stop stealing my premises and come up with your own lines? I was the first relatable modern heroine. You two can only hope to be half as dope as me. You both seem smart, but you're not really aware. Allow me to give you some advice. When you get an inheritance, don't offer to share. My brains are unbeatable and my wit is first tier. I went from being unmarriable to living off 10,000 pounds a year. You're no match for Lizzie Bennet.